Good morning, Earthlings. Hey, you know, on Komodo Island where I live, crabs are like really popular. So I painted some. So you'll finally get a class out of me. Painting crabs. Then I took my picture down to Art Loft, an art show, and I got the honorable mention. Who knew? So that's what's going to happen here today. <laughs> We're going to paint crabs, crabs, crabs. So I'm, I have to get ready for Ardeloff because I paid my dues for, and you get to put three pieces in. Last year, I won a blue ribbon from my picture. So and that felt really good. I could put that on my resume. Well, the deadline to get my work in is today. Did I say today? Hmm. I better get busy then. So I found this crab. People on Komodo Island are just crazy about crabs. Dungeness crabs. We got them in the sound and everybody crabs. I don't particularly eat crab. I, I try to eat kosher. God. That does not mean eating crabs. I like to watch them on the beach. But anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to paint a crab. What I'm doing now, see how I like this little fuzzy part. What I'm doing now is I'm going with this blue and I'm going through and, and just putting in the dark spaces and um, See, I already put this in, and now when I go in with another layer, it's going to kind of feather in like that. And that's what you want it to do. And if it doesn't, you ask it nicely. This is where the water is your friend. Okay, so now that's going to bleed. I am ready. So I just went through and did all the shadows, the dark spots, and every single place where he has a, um, a connection, he's got a little shadow. So that's the first stage. I usually use this for um, skin tones, but yeah. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do... Uh, this one is a cadmium red, and yeah, it's dirty. That's okay. Cadmium red. Um, yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Uh, but I'm not going to get that. A little bit of this red. So here's the water right here. I'm going to use this sepia down the bottom here. And mix it in, and isn't there kind of something like this? Right, got it. Then, then I'm gonna go with. Hello, my what? Your truck was almost murdered. Murdered? Murdered, you know, like um, obnoxiously killed. Oh, I see. I was driving down River Road, and then somebody coming the other direction decided that 50 was not fast enough for him. Right. And, and he decided to pass a line of traffic, and I looked up, and there's this headlights coming at me. Right. Oh, my goodness. Uh, you know, and, and, and there's not, I can't go off to the right nowhere because there's, you know, like a ditch <laughs> coming down River Road. Oh, my so goodness. I, I'm standing on my brakes and still almost nothing I can do because he's coming. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, the, and the truck is there. And you better get the, the other side around this other traffic. And anyway, yeah, you probably missed me by about a foot and a half. Oh, wow. Um, and I, I probably stood on my brakes and was down to maybe five miles an hour. No way. By the time he passed me, yeah, by the time he got back in the other lane, I don't know how fast he was going, probably 75, 80. Wow. His trap was coming that way, you know, they, they're going 45, 50 plus, you know, and he was passing two or three cars. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, all, and, and, 
and the funny thing is, is that when I got cars passing me all the time, mm. you know, you just meet them at the railroad crossing because the train's there. Right. <laughs> you go flying the fuck around you, getting ready to kill a half a dozen people just to wait in front of you at the train crossing. Oh, that's funny. Fuck. I'm going to go inside. That's a really good thought. Ponder on that one and go make a lot of money. All right? Thank you, Dan. Bye. Bye. <laughs> That's how Dan's life went this morning, and it's not even 7 o'clock yet. So I'm going to just plug away at this. You kind of saw how I did the... Anyway, I'm going around. This has dried just a little bit, just enough that it's not going to get smudgy and gross. But there might be a little color play, if I'm careful. These eyes wear this color but I'm kind of being careful inside here because I don't want them to bleed like all over the damn place so uh, little bits of brown down in here I forgot about the shadow yeah so no. I took a different approach this time I did the lights first and then I went over and did the darks I'm not sure I like that any better but we're gonna see I have three so far, three so far, one, <laughs> now remember, so I'm at the gallery, I got it all framed, I had to put this little tag in the bottom, saying what it was, the back looks nice, taped it in nice, it's all ready. It's all ready for the show. Good luck, little crab. Art Loft is going on. And some of these people got ribbons for the work. Good job. So I'm just gonna see if I'm one of them. Where are you, little crab? Where are you? Oh, yay! I got an honorable mention. Yay, little crab. Who knew? So I'm here with Kathy at the oh. Art Loft. Come over here. Come on. I got an honorable mention. It's very nice. If you'd like to put your artwork in an art show, it's pretty easy. You just find out what the date is by calling your art guild or your art gallery, and you prepare. And you might get a ribbon. Those are always fun. So, until next time, I gotta go to work. I do work. Sometimes. <laughs>